Restrictions are coming for those who like to fish out on the Skyway Fishing Pier. It's FWC's way of trying to prevent brown pelicans from being injured and at times even killed. Eight on your side's Nicole Rogers joins us live on the pier with those new rules that are going to go into effect October 1st. Right, Nicole? Josh, Stacy, good evening. Just about 10 minutes ago, I was sitting in my news car getting my scripts ready and a man came over to be in distress with a pelican. Just take a look. Him and I took all of this out of the pelican. Here is where the hook was cut and there was even a feather still in this line. Now, nobody's saying that this doesn't happen to the pelicans, but fishermen and animal advocates disagree on how to fix the problem. Mike Gaby has been fishing on the Skyway Pier for decades. It can be a hobby, it can be a sport. For a lot of us, it's a way of life. He's one of the many anglers that will now be impacted by FWC's new restrictions. Regulations wild bird rescuer Liz Vreeland believes won't actually save the pelicans. Limiting the number of hooks um, is not effective because what I've seen in my history since 2005 out at the Skyway Piers is that usually the birds get tangled, not hooks. It's the line. The new rules would establish an education requirement for anglers, prohibit fishing rigs with more than one hook from November 15th to March 15th, and limit fishermen to two sets of hook and line gear. 160s on the railing, correct? Many hope these new restrictions will help save brown pelicans from being injured and at times even killed. But some people want to see more done to limit harm to seabirds in the future. I do think what was proposed today is going to help, but I think it's going to fall a little short to make a meaningful difference for pelicans. It would have required a ban of multi-hook gear year-round. Now, this is not an end-all, be-all. The FWC plans to revisit these rules that are going to be implemented right here on the pier in two years to see if they need to make them stricter, if they need to loosen the restrictions, all in an effort to save those pelicans. Live in Manatee County, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.